Hi everyone and welcome to ADSR live here and um, my name's Dave. Uh, I've been doing this for the last quite a few weeks now and I hope you're all well and safe um, wherever you are at the moment. Uh, this one's a little bit different for so those of you who've seen the last four of mine, three or four of mine, four, um, I did a lot of tractor stuff because essentially I'm a DJ um but this one and i'm going to go slowly so i'm talking slowly now to set myself up because i get quite excited and i don't want to ramble through it i'm going to be integrating tractor machina and ableton live um i must remember to say ableton live uh together now i'm going to do it in a number of different ways and i'm going to take it slowly not to um patronize you but to make sure i get it right because if you do it uh let's just say i've had some winners and some losers so and it's going to be on youtube uh forevermore so i need to get this right otherwise i'm going to be trolled terribly so ask questions away just so you know i've got so many screens and cameras um i've got this one here and then i've got this one here so this is my gopro if we can see better i have fixed my cable which is this one up here which is wicked and then i've got my tractor open my machine are open and my Ableton open. So hopefully you're all with me at the moment. So one thing that's happened is Ableton Live um, had a live button. Uh, before, uh, if you wanted to put a tractor in sync or machine in sync with Ableton, then uh, it would be a really hard job and you'd have to have like a jack router um, and route it internally uh, and stuff like that whereas they made this link button and luckily native instruments also then um, added the link button in uh, and I know it's in a couple of other pieces of software as well which is amazing and for those of you who don't know what Ableton link is um, it essentially means I can link virtually um, through a master and slave system on my computer but also if for instance I was um, in one corner of the room on um, tractor uh, and you were in the other corner of the room, we could actually link up uh, live uh, and we'd sync up live um, over the two apps over Wi-Fi, um, an internal, you know, private Wi-Fi. So it's a really, really cool thing. So I'm doing essentially what three people could do or more, um, which is why I'm taking it very slowly. Um, so do ask questions as I go along. This is a bit different to the tractor one. Because the attractor one I can go through and um, I can uh, just answer questions afterwards. But there will be times where you go, whoa, 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 Dave, just stop and let's see what's going on. So I will go over to my and uh, to my tractor here. And this one's the easiest. However, what I like to do is I like to sync all my other... Um, softwares off of tractor now that may sound weird to you but it's entirely up to you how you do it but the reason why is because a dj for me um can adjust the tempos a lot easier for because i'm all, i'm also a dj so i see um almost the able ableton and machina going through tractor in like a mixer form and then going out live so therefore it can be manipulated i think even quicker okay so up in my um, settings here, I've got, where are we? And uh, 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 so we can always record it as well, which is good. Broadcast and don't worry about. And I want to talk to you about F1 in a minute. But this external sync, um, this is what we want. We want the link button, not the external. That's manual. Um, that may be for another day. But you can do enable MIDI clock there's the offset so we want that we want to sync it and eventually we're going to press link now for those of you who have seen um my overhead here what i've got in fact let's just turn that off and go over to the overhead just so you, just to explain i've got a machina mark three this is the full one um, this will work on the micro as well and then i've got an f1 and a z1 now, the only reason why I've got a Z1 is because I've got a play button on it and I can do volumes and stuff while I'm talking. The F1, I'm going to do in two different states. So for those of you who've seen my F1s before, you know I'm pretty fond of them. And I've got this to be switched between... This is in um, overlay mode. 
and this is normal mode. So you might recognize this, but if I put it into that, it's blue and it's an overlay mode. And I can explain that, that's not a problem. Ask any questions you want. Um, one thing for those of you who love the F1, if you do put it in overlay mode, it keeps changing the browser. So it keeps changing this when you turn it back. So I went into the controller manager and then user, and in here it has a layout modifier. You just delete that. If that makes no sense, don't worry. You can always ask me afterwards. So we're going to start with um, a, a track. Should we do that? Uh, let's do here. And thanks again to Strinner. Um, fantastic label is Stay Aoki, not Steve Aoki. Stay Aoki, okay? And um, you can find Strinner on Instagram as well. So I've got the music here. Now, I'm going to sync this. And yes, I'm using the sync button. <laughs> we talked about this a couple of weeks ago. And I'm going to just double click and I'm going to change that to 124. So if you hear this now, okay, it's 124. Simple as. Now, the simple way to do it is now I can just link this to Machina. So we're going to do two things first and then we'll add Ableton in afterwards. So with Ableton, uh, with Machina, Ableton Live, sorry, I must remember that. With Machina, I can go to Preferences. Now, again, I'm going to show you how I've got the setup just in case. So I've got my quantize on. OK, my link, I can have that enabled, but I can just tick that up there. So I don't need that on just a moment. I'm running an aggregate here, so don't worry too much about that. Um, my MIDI here, I want this to be slave. OK, and again, this offset, I'm going to I might have to adjust just like the offset here. Hopefully it will be zero. But there we go. My inputs are my machina and track to virtual output. OK, so that's there. And my outputs I've got as machina, virtual and machina 2. Then I have the. Um, I'm sorry, I am going to go to that would really help if I went actually to the preferences, wouldn't it? So if I go to the preferences on Machina, sorry about that. I've got so many cameras. Um, I'm going to go to audio. I've just said that is going to be my your whatever yours is, but mine's a aggregate. I've got that as off master or slave. So I'm going to have that as slave because I want. Um, well, we'll see. I'm going to show you, but I'm going to have that as slave. And then I'm going to go down and I'm going to go uh, into I've got my controller as Machina and everything else is pretty much standard okay so now what we can do is we are going to put a picture in picture over to this so we're going to look at the machina and we're going to hit browse okay and now we're going to i'm just going to open a group okay um anything we want let's do a bit of global <laughs> Actually, let's go to something a little bit heavier because I want to go in with the string stuff. Okay, so you hit pad mode. Okay, so now the first thing we can do is we can just play it in, we can double click it in, we can just do our hi-hats here. So let's do something simple and let's get this all going. So if I hit link here, I'm going to go back to one here, which is on here. And then I'm just going to put it into a four beat loop. Okay. And then I can press play. And because it's synced to the master, if you look up here, one, two, three, four, and then on the one should go back to the beginning. We have to make sure our phase meter is bang on as well. So make sure that isn't creeping up. Now, if we go to here and we have press play, or after we press link, of course. So we keep an eye on this. It might not be perfect, but we can change the offset. <laughs> There we go, a hideous 
hi-hat, but it's in time. And we can also hit record. And it's in perfect time. We can stop that and we can stop that. So just by clicking link, we can link these two together. We've got way more to go into, but um, I just want to make sure that you're all OK. So have we got any questions? OK, let me just have a look. Yeah, sorry about the view. Um, that was me. I do apologize. I'll go over the um, tractor preferences again. OK, so <laughs> like I said, I've got lots of cameras. Right. So if we go to here and I'm just going to go back to preferences and I was talking about the F1 user and I took away the layout modifier and then we also um, had external sync and I've got link and enable MIDI clock which kicks into this here all right so that is essentially it we can do whatever we want there and let's just for instance let's go to a new pad and let's go to a new group and let's put picture on picture, picture in picture, and let's go to something else. Let's go to the London Green. So we can do something like that. We could actually give it a little bit of um, a swing to it as well. But let's this time, let's record it into this. Okay, so so it's gonna it takes time. So don't know if you noticed that, but it took time to kick in, and that's because of the quantize. Okay, because it's waiting for this to kick in here. Okay, so there we go. Take the cord off. Okay, so we got that, and again, I'm gonna. Now let's jump it. Let's jump that to there. So we got no drums. It's a little. And again. Because of that as well, we can put our arpeggio on. We've got our sixteenths here if we want. We can change the pattern. And if you had a friend with you, you could go. And go into the next bit. Okay. So hopefully that helps. Now what we got. We've got, uh, do you need quantize on in tractor to keep it in time? Yeah, let's just keep um, track, let's keep quantize on um, because we want it to kick into the actual um, beat perfectly. So you can do it but and then readjust it if you want. Um, but I would keep it on quantize just to make it easier and sync as well. Okay, so uh, and DJ WD40. Good name uh, your mics are starting i will step back from that thank you very much for letting me know so yes you would need i personally would have quantize on just to make it all a lot easier now if i go back to uh tractor screen and i've got my picture in picture over here this time i'm going to put it back into what i would say is normal remix deck mode and if we uh go to remix decks and i'm going to drop in my old favorite where is it West African again because we've got this synced this is now going to work with everything as well so if we press play on here and then press down here and we can still get, get that phasing
control that all from your controller as well i mean i've got this because of size of my desk but i personally if you had the machine here running that and then you had um the uh, i would have an s4 mark 3 or something like that over here so it all works together but it can all be midi mapped as well so we can stop that now that's one side of it while i'm on with machina before i go on to ableton i'm going to turn off link for a minute because i want to show you something that you might not have seen before so i'm going to just take this back into track deck and take that off now let's just say we really like this beat okay let's just familiarize ourselves Now what that and what I can do with this is if you see over here, there's two magical buttons. This one I'm going to come to, but this one here, um, you can click and hold. And if I hold it, it says pattern one. I can now go back to tractor and drop that in. And what that's done is even though that's a MIDI, these are MIDI notes on a um, on here, is actually what I would class as bounced it into audio, and then I've taken it and put it into here. Now you need to make sure that your BPMs are correct. So one, two, four, one, two, four. Um, and then if you listen to this, okay, but we wanna make sure the uh, grid is right. You see this here? Okay. And then if I press one again, and this happens, you just need to know how to do it. If I now go there, So you can then take that and obviously do what you want with it. Now, whatever is on here as well, if you put effects over the top of this, it does things. Again, it will bounce it. So it will take it as that. And what I really like to do is then take that. And then as you may know from your other remix deck exercises that you've done, is if you go to decks four, and I'm just going to change this remix deck, actually this one over here, to remix deck. I can now drag that down. In fact, let's just before that, I'm gonna double change this. And then I'm gonna drag this down into here. And then, and it, so someone's just asked, can you nudge with a remix deck? Um, no, not unless you MIDI map it. And as you can see, this wouldn't be in sync with this, even though, so if I press sync, but this could go out of time like that. So you need to be able to then control this, but you can MIDI map this, okay? Someone's just asked how to offset. Now, if you go to your external and make sure that this enable MIDI clock is there, you've got this offset here, and then you've got, an offset in your preferences over here as well okay um but let's just go back to this a minute so this and if i go back to and i can now start making up my own remix um decks from this which is well i think it's unbelievable to be honest um no, it's, it's very believable because i'm doing it but it's incredible <laughs> that's what i meant to say so you can this will sync once you've done a couple of things remember you still need to know how to beat grid um which is what i've done for you um but i'm going to show you that again now so once this is saved in there happy days now i'm going to go to um my pattern here so I've got a pattern here, and then I'm gonna duplicate that by holding duplicate and going over to pattern two. So I'm now in pattern two here. And then I'm gonna add some more stuff. Do you know what, that's good enough. I like that. And I'm gonna grab that and I'm going to drag that into my track deck. Now, the reason why I put it in my track deck first is it's a lot easier to manipulate 
and change the beat grids and stuff. Now there are two ways to do it. I can go to grid and because I know it's 124 up here, I can then just type in 124 or what I could do is go to Q.1, delete and let's see if this works. Q.1 and then grid and let's see if this works here. So I'm going to, doesn't work. Okay. So we're going to go to number one and grid. Didn't like it. One, two, four. That looks much better. And then if we click this and again, watch this, see this here. We're just going to be able to do that. And again, you can make this go further and further to whatever you want. Now, if we want to, so this is now in Ableton. Now, what I've done, just so you're aware, and a lot of you might have already seen this, um, we have transport buttons on the Machina and all the A series and the M series and the S series of the Native Instruments Complete controls. Now, the transport works really well on Ableton, but I think... Ableton Live, sorry, but there's a bug, um, I think, because, and I have requested a, a fix for this, because if you plug in your um, key, your complete control, you can use the transport on it, but the moment you plug in a Machina Micro, and I haven't tested this one, but then definitely the Machina Micro Mark III, it disables all uh, transport functions for both. So there might be a bug, and I have requested, and if I know anything, I'll update you in that. But now we're in Ableton, I want to show you my preferences. Now, you have to be careful when you're running Machina software and um, Ableton software with the Machina because you can basically can control both with this. So I've taken off Machina control for Ableton. I, I just made it a lot easier to show you what's going on. But I could sit here with a um, keyboard um, and also I'm on running Catalina um, and this is Ableton Live 10. And the I have an Akai LPK25 that doesn't work anymore. So I'm waiting to see if they will ever get that up and running again because it's a cool little keyboard. I can just use it for my iPad now, I suppose. Um, but in the link, I've got show link toggle on and link uh, stop start sync on as well. So the link button is up on the top left hand corner. And down here, you can you've got a MIDI um, sync delay as well, so you can adjust that. That's the tractor virtual output, and I haven't needed it luckily, but it's there um, if you need to. You can just click and hold and drag that up and down, and then put it back to zero for one. And then I've got nothing else of weirdness going on. I've got my uh, aggregate on there, five twelve sample rate which for latency wise is not a problem at all for me. 5.12 is pretty much standard um, for what I use. Now I could double click this. Let's go for drums because it's easiest. Okay, I'm going to double click that. And I'm just going to use my mouse because it's a lot easier at the moment. Like I said, I've got very little, little space and I didn't want to control both. So if I go into this and click that, I can just double click this. Now I've got a MIDI here, so if I press play on here, even there. All right, so now if I go back to my drums, let's go to back to tractor, and I'm going to set that off. Go over to Ableton, link. Okay, so it's not linking up at the moment. Okay, it's because we've got the incorrect tempo there. Now that should snap to it. So let's have a look at preferences. Okay, so that should be on there. There we 
go. So without. And that's running in time there as well. So now if we do that. And if you're not sure, we can offset that. there so when we've got that going as well we've got this link on and it says two links on there So that one was slightly out there, but that is the link all over. And just someone just said, um, it's not a bug. You can't uh, control, um, where are we? You can't control Ableton Machina with uh, in plug-in mode. Interesting, but there should you should be able to separate um, Machina and um, a complete control, and one shouldn't override the other. So I'm still waiting for Ableton to question that. Um, so we will see. Now, if you've made... Let's just stop this for a minute. If you've made this here, that this is MIDI, what about if we want to then bring it into um, Tractor? So what we can do is if I stop this for now, let's just get rid of the link. And I'll remember to uh, link it in Ableton next time, shall I? That would be good. Uh, in Logic. Uh, logic. Tractor. So what we can do here is if I want to make this into um, audio, I can right click and I can freeze the track then if I copy it and then paste it here and I can unfreeze this track now this now is exactly the same but it's in a waveform so I'm going to take loop off it's on to 124 if I now go to um, show in finder and let me just drag that over there's so many things here hold on I can then drag that into here, just like I could Machina. Again, double check this. And you can treat it as normal you can then also because i know it's all correct because it's one two four there and this is completely working with this i can drag that down here and then i, I go to deck d i can then go stuff like that so you can now move Ableton um, over to from here let me get Ableton screen you can so you, I've made a MIDI and I've moved it over and turned it into audio and then I've done uh, and moved it over to tractor okay does this work on Windows yes it does um, Ableton live works on in Windows tractor works on Windows and so does Machina so yes
I'm just looking at your brilliant text. Thank you very much. So, yes, all the windows work there. So what I've done so far is I've synced, uh, linked tractor to Machina and then played them together separately. Then I've taken this out as an audio, instantly bounced it, which is incredible. One thing to note as well, if you've made this elaborate pattern, um, it isn't elaborate, moment, but let's just say you've made loads and loads of these. If you want to, you can solo, you can mute these, and then it still stays in this as on four. But again, what I can do is drag that, drag it over to here, and this is going to look weird, but now I can do that. I love about the um, F1 is I can actually change the size of this. Two beats, two bars now. So it really is versatile. So that's what we've done there. We've also then made Ableton MIDI and then put it into here and then we can then the thing is, with um, once you've um, frozen it and, and bounced it down, basically, you can then drag that into Machina as well if you wanted to as a waveform. But I like to keep um, Machina as MIDI because it's a lot easier for me on the Mark III. Um, the last thing we can do is, let me just unmute them, is we can actually, this one here, this is the MIDI. So this is bounces audio and you can tell that by the waves. But this one here is the MIDI. So if I click, hold and drag there, you see it says pattern two, just like it would, but it's got this little MIDI lines that look like a, a sad face. So now what we can do is go to Ableton. I can just drag that in and you can see it's in there. No sound though, okay? That's because you need to assign it a sound. So if I just put this here, you can see the MIDI's kicking in, but we need to assign it. But what I love about this is I can just change it to any instrument. So let's just put it on a, I don't know, a flute. And you can start manipulating it. You can change it to anything you want. Let's do some effects. And then you can go in and change your audio effects in here. Got delay on already. It's a bit of a chorus. And again, we can now freeze that. We can then copy it, paste it here. And if you look here, Hang on a sec. Uh, hang on a second. Freeze that. It is frozen. Oh, that's because I've made it into um, I copied it into a MIDI track. This silly boy. This is what happens when you're live. <laughs> um, copy. Okay, I'm gonna make a new track. Audio. I'm gonna paste. There we go. There's our waveform. Take off loop. I'm going to show in Finder, click, drag, here, and then over to Tractor. And again, this one is kept so we can, I've taken the wrong stupid one, haven't I? Let me try that again. Show in Finder. This one here would be easier, wouldn't it? Oh, for the love of this one. Thank you. <laughs> 
and now I know that's perfectly formed so I can then drop that down there and I can click on that and I can boost the volume up if I want to which means I can now do Um, one of you, PB, hello PB, uh, you've just asked me what FLX, FLX is. That's, I'll just very, very quickly talk about that. That's Flux. Um, if you want to go back and see it, me, you do it on another ADSR video, you can see that. But essentially that means I can um, like, put that on. You see that blue line goes on? It just bounces to it. It just stops it. Um, if I had a jog wheel, I'd show you exactly what it does. But check out another video. And if you're not sure, I do an overview on my channel, Digital and Vinyl Expert. Um, and also, if you've got any questions on there, you can go on my YouTube or my Instagram. And I now have a Facebook page, uh, reluctantly. So, <laughs> yeah. So, what we've done now is we've now got a link on here, a link on here, a link on here. And it will tell you there's two links. That means two more to this one. So now if we go and and then we can go to pattern two. So Machina and Ableton are running together now. essentially it um let me just go back to my face for a minute hello uh i know that seems I'm, it might seem overwhelming or not but to get it to do that if you know how to use ableton great if you know how to use tractor great if you know how to use machina great so it's just a link button at the end of the day with an offset um i'm showing you extra bits um because they're really cool so being able to change midi into audio on the fly you know, if someone had um, something going on on Machina and they're playing and they hit record and they record it in and they go on to something else, you could then just nick that, put it into Tractor and then start using it live. And this is why this is so cool, because it is all live. You can produce on this, don't get me wrong. I mean, obviously Ableton, infinite possibilities, but add in with Machina and Machina can go into Ableton Live, and if you want to, if you go on my channel and ADSRs, you'll see an integration of Machina into Ableton Live as a plugin, which is really, really useful. And um, you could essentially use Machina as um, software and a plugin as well. So you've got two Machinas, which is, um, I just did that for a bit of fun. And you can control Ableton with Machina, but if you've got a launch pad or a push as well, I mean, it's really infinite. Plus, with the tractor decks and stuff, you can really manipulate it. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you this. And actually, that is pretty much it. Um, as long as your settings are correct and little things like take off the loop um, in here. So take when you when you bounce it down into freeze. 
just take the loop off uh, it just makes it easier um, and just little things like that and then you essentially you could just do whatever you want uh, yeah that's it let's see if there's any questions um, okay so first of all on YouTube uh, Dave if I output my machine mark 3 audio to track to D um, using cables um, okay so wired into the back of the s4 mark 3 um, the sound changes dramatically compared to if I route the machine output to track to audio device um, audio track to audio device so you mean you've got the machine you're plugging it into the back of the D uh, to, into channel D of the s4 mark 3 and that gives you one sound and if you route machine output to track to audio device you get a different sound well one's using you're using the sound card into a sound card um, and one's using a software um, into software and then out of one sound card but I'd like to test that so get get in contact with me on my Instagram digital and vinyl expert um, and let's do that again let's try and recreate that because I've got a mark 3 behind me there somewhere and I've got the machine so we'll work on that okay um, the uh, PB does it the order in which you turn on the link in each software matter not if you set the masters and slaves correctly I always make sure that I set if you noticed I turned them on in different ways but um, essentially I had the tractor as master so in um, machina I chose it to be a slave and just like in Ableton as well so yes and no but no uh, if I run Ableton Live with a push mark one and tractor together, the sound in tractor degrades. Any idea why? Um, it shouldn't. It might be something to do with your sound card um, in your computer. Um, I, you've got a push running and you've got tractor running. I'm just thinking it might be a, a load issue with your CPU or something. But again, contact me and send. We can send um, a video. You can send me a video to my email and I'll happily help you. Okay. Um, any other questions on tr there? No. So over to um, Facebook and Twitch. Uh, okay. Steve, so you could you so you could also use the sample manager with this setup. Yes, you can use the sample manager and with ADSL sounds and drag in the machine and track the stuff as well. And the ADSL sample manager has Ableton link so if you want to use ADSR sample manager it has a link in there as well and you could then take that take those samples and drag them into Machina into Ableton Live into Tractor and turn them around whatever you want and it's amazing and you can also once you've got the samples even in Tractor you could then record them into um, your loop recorder and then drag those out into Machina and Ableton as well. So, yeah, there we are. Um, I know it's quarter to four, but I literally can't show you any more. I'm going to go over it one more time. And again, if you've got any questions, ask away. And I hope this has been useful to you. Um, I've tried to show you this as simple as possible. And yes, I do apologise about my mic distorting and forgetting to put the camera on the right, right screen. And more importantly, the link button on on Tractor. Uh, okay, fair dues. But <laughs> hopefully it all makes sense. So I'm going to go over it quickly one more time and just show you a couple of bits. Let's have a bit of fun. So if I go over to this screen and picture in picture, then let's do this. So I'm going to make this new set. Don't save. Delete. Okay, and I'm also going to go over to here, new, discard, and over here I'm going to put that to track deck, that to track deck, and that to track deck, and we're going to start all over again, but I'm just going to run through it as I would if I was just messing around with it, okay? So I would get onto a browser let's go on to uh, 
Oh no, I've frozen up. Yeah. That's quite nice. So I'm going to decide this time I'm going to have it at 128. Let's get a bit of pulse racing. And I've got it on master, quantize and snaps on there. And I'm going to have Strinner's music on, let's take Ignorance is Bliss at this moment, <laughs> De definitely. But let's, I don't want the beat, so let's take this here. <laughs> So I'm going to use that as my main bit. And again, I could just take that now and put that in a remix deck. So let's just put that as 128. Have sync on there. Drag that down. And that's just going to be a sample in there. Let's drag this over here. take that which is nice I'm gonna take that as well and then I'm gonna go over to Machina and let's just play that so let's turn link on so step that anymore don't need that anymore I'm now gonna just play these two together If I want 
want to. Okay, so we've got that. Take it out as a midi. Trust me to put it in there. I think it's something else. Turning this into overlay mode. Press play. So you get you get the idea, okay? Um that was all playing live so you could i i did that live <laughs> while it's playing the only thing that stopped was ableton but there's a way around that as well because you could just copy and paste that into another group frozen that track while the other one was playing and then you can take that off um afterwards which i think is what i just think it works really well um any more questions is there a way to automate say through midi mapping the auto bounce feature from machina to tractor auto bounce feature from machina to tractor that's a good question i don't want to say yes or no live on youtube so if you get back to me peter on uh, my instagram which is uh digital and vinyl expert i will happily answer that question to you uh ban join in late great channel thank you very much Write a lot of hip hop with recording my own guitar and bass right into Machina. I feel Tractor may be my next step. Seems a little daunting, but probably worth it. Well, absolutely. It all depends on the way you go. But if you watch back the last four, especially the first two live um, videos I did on ADSR, if you go back to them, uh, it will show you Tractor preferences. And if you've got any questions as well, come to my channel. I've done all that sort of stuff as well. And I'll happily answer any questions on my Instagram. Uh, can Ableton Live access the native instrument sounds and drum kits? If so, how? Yes, um, you can. I say that. I know it. But when you go live blind <laughs> on here, you've got your plugins and then you've got your audio units in here. Um, that's all my stuff from native in there. I've got my Roland Cloud and Waves in there as well. Um, and... You can go into your battery 
and your coral and all sorts of other stuff there's your Qatar rig there there you go so you just load it up as normal you've got contact in there anything that's in machina and as long as you've got your point your plug-in that's gonna take forever now isn't it as long as you've got your plugins um seen so if you go to preferences if you go to your plugins make sure your vsts you've got a rescan there but make sure you've got all these these two ticked i like them this way it's up to you how you have them and i have vst3 ticked as well uh these this is my preferences here so this should um get you all that you need over to um from machine to ableton live and like i said if you want to integrate machine as a plugin um, it's a very simple thing because you can just um, open this up and when it li when it loads we should have some music we should this is now machina um, in Ableton live <laughs> I always forget to say live I mustn't I mustn't forget that the boss is watching so in here oh, just knock my GoPro over in here if you see this it looks exactly the same as if I was in Machina. So, okay, you can load it. And if you notice over here on the Ableton Live at Master, and that's in that channel now, there. So yes, you can totally use all that sort of stuff. Hopefully that helps. And I have gone through this and I hope this, um, yeah, I hope this helps. There's lots in there. If you've got any questions, get back to us. More than happy to. Um, I don't forget to check out adsrsounds.com and the sample manager uh, for all those amazing sounds and samples. Make sure you follow and like and subscribe. Ask any questions you've got. And also, if you want to learn about loads of tutorials, if you go on to adsrsounds.com, there's loads of tutorials there at a crazy price, which is going to help you with machine, complete control, tractor, and so much more. So I just want to say a big thank you um, to ADSL for having me. Big thank you for all of you joining me. Um, sorry for the couple of glitches, but it's live and that's how it is. And I hope you've um, enjoyed it. You've learned something. Stay in contact and ask any questions at any time. No question is a silly question like, why didn't you put on link on, able to, on Tractor while you were trying to do it? So I just want to say thank you and I will see you hopefully soon. Bye-bye.